Put down the knitting, the book and the broom. It's time for a holiday. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the roles every mezzo is just dying to play. Look out for slight spoilers ahead. Just remembering you've had an and when you're back to or. Number 10, 80 Annie, Oklahoma. Go right off to sleep if you're sleepy. There's no use waiting up for me. Sure, everyone knows and loves the main couple in a Rodgers and Hammerstein musical, but real fans know that the B couple is where it's at, particularly if you're a mezzo soprano performing in Oklahoma. I always say, come on, let's go. Just when I are to say next. 80 Annie is one of the funnier roles the duo ever conceived, a flirtatious gal who can't decide between two very different men. Besides her comic chops, she's got two incredible songs, a solo called I Can't Say No, and a duet called All or Nothing. Annie imbues Oklahoma with life and charm, and she's a belter to boot. Number 9, Anita, West Side Story. Anita's gonna get a kiss tonight. We'll have a private little mix tonight. If you want to perform in West Side Story, you'd better hope that you're a real triple threat. Acting, dancing, and singing at a top level are all heavy requirements for this show. But the hardest and most desirable role in the entire show has got to be Anita. <laughs> Anita is such a great role that even if you aren't a mezzo-soprano, you're probably willing to lie and say you are. In addition to her amazing dancing and singing showcases, Anita has the most fully formed arc of any character in the show. Number 8, Annie Oakley, Annie Get Your Gun. Any note you can reach, I can go higher. I can sing anything higher than you. No, you can't. Yes, I can. 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 No, you can't. If you're looking for a role where practically every song you sing eventually became a standard, have we got the show for you. We guess that's what happens when you're composed by Irving Berlin. Annie Get Your Gun is based on the life of real-life sharpshooter Annie Oakley and features a stunning score from Berlin. I sparkle like a crystal, yes, I shine like the morning sun. If you're cast in the role of Annie, you get to sing famous songs such as You Can't Get a Man with a Gun and I Got the Sun in the Morning. Those are only two of the delightful tunes that Berlin wrote for this gunslinging ingenue. Trust us, every mezzo wants to hit the bullseye with this role. Getting paid for doing what comes naturally. Let's go with the show. Number 7, Reno Sweeney, Anything Goes. Give all the hymns you like, the bare limbs you like, give me West you like, or me undressed you like, or nobody will. If Sutton Foster had a go at a role, you can usually bet it's perfect for a mezzo-soprano. Her turn as Millie Dillmount in Thoroughly Modern Millie definitely got all the mezzos in a tizzy. But today, we're taking a look at another Sutton role that's full of belts and tap dancing. In olden days, a glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking, but now The role of Reno Sweeney in Anything Goes has been played by numerous famous belters throughout the years, from Ethel Merman to Patti LuPone to Elaine Page and so on. This cruise ship nightclub singer is coveted by mezzos everywhere. Number 6, Belle, Beauty and the Beast. I want adventure in the great white somewhere. I want it She might be a princess, but make no mistake, Belle is no wilting flower. She has one of the most powerful belts of any Broadway baby. And out of all the Disney-turned-Broadway princesses, she's the one mezzos want. I'm wearing who I want to be. 
If you're lucky enough to play Belle in the musical, you'll be able to sing all your favorite songs from the 1991 film. But there are also a few new favorites that shoot the musical score past that of the movie. In particular, the power ballad Home is a gorgeous tune, and one that every mezzo-soprano worth her salt has been auditioning with for years. Number 5. Desiree Armfelt, A Little Night Music Just when I stopped opening doors Finally knowing the one that I wanted was yours If you get the chance to sing one of Stephen Sondheim's greatest songs, you better take it. Based on an Ingmar Bergman film, a Little Night Music debuted on Broadway in 1973 and follows the romantic entanglements of several people. One of those people is Desiree Armfeld, an actress past the prime of her career. Desiree only has a few songs, but one stands out from the crowd and is a treasure for any mezzo-soprano to sing. Isn't it bliss? Don't you Send in the Clowns has become such a standard that it's hard to remember sometimes that it's from this musical. When sung in the context of Desiree's story, the song becomes that much more powerful. And where are the clowns? There ought to be clowns. Number 4. Dot slash Marie. Sunday in the Park with George. I caught your eyes, George. Here we've got not one but two amazing roles. Sunday in the Park with George is arguably Stephen Sondheim's greatest achievement and includes one of the best chances for a singing actress as well. No one is you and no one can be but no one is me, George. No one is me. In the first act of the show, Dot is Georges Seurat's muse who ends up leaving him when he can't commit to her fully. In the second act, Marie is Seurat's daughter and grandmother of a different artist. Both women are played by the same person, a fine challenge for any actress willing to take it on. And with that challenge comes stunning songs. Isn't it lovely how artists can capture us? Number 3. The Baker's Wife, Into the Woods Wake up, stop dreaming, stop prancing about the woods Talk about a swan song, literally. Into the Woods is a Stephen Sondheim musical based on the classic fairy tales you know and love, but with a dark twist in the second act. The Baker and the Baker's Wife are two of our main characters, at first desperate for a child and then unsure how to raise that child. It takes trust, it takes just a bit more and we're done. We want four, we have none, we've got three, we need one, it takes two. Whoa. Although the baker's wife ends up dying in the middle of the second act, she makes a huge impression with the time she's given. In particular, Moments in the Woods, sung right before she dies, is one to remember. Now I understand, and it's time to leave the woods. Number 2. Sally Bowles, Cabaret What good is sitting alone in your room? Come hear the music play. Life is a cabaret, old chum, especially when you're a mezzo-soprano who gets the chance to play Sally Bowles in Cabaret. This landmark musical revolves around a nightclub called the Kit Kat Club, but is really about the rise of the Nazis before World War II. Sally isn't necessarily supposed to be the greatest singer in the world, but that's part of what makes the role so rich to perform. As fascism grows around Sally and she continues to ignore it, the show becomes darker and more brutal. The song Cabaret, with its good time lyrics, isn't really supposed to be a good time at all. And a great actress and singer will find those levels. It's gotta happen, happen sometime. Maybe this time I'll win. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Kathy, The Last Five Years. When you get to sing half the songs alone, that's a good role.
Roxy Hart, Chicago. The name on everybody's lips is gonna be Roxy. I'm gonna be a celebrity that means somebody everyone knows. They're gonna recognize my eyes, my hair, my teeth, my boobs, my nose. Eponine, Les Miserables. She steals the second act. I love him. Kim, Miss Saigon, a strong mezzo-soprano performance. Sonia Rostova, Natasha, Pierre, and the Great Comet of 1812. Sonia belts her way to the top. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Fanny Bryce, Funny Girl Have you guessed yet? Who's the best yet? If you ain't hard to Perhaps the most famous brassy belter part, Fanny Bryce is a role that every young mezzo-soprano dreams of playing. Funny Girl, with the help of one Barbara Streisand, brought the story of Fanny Bryce to life for the first time in 1964. Since then, every belter with a dream has been itching to play this role. I'd rather be blue over you than be happy, happy, happy with somebody There are so many amazing songs to sing in Funny Girl. From I'm the Greatest Star, to People, to the show-stopping Don't Rain on My Parade, Fanny gets the chance to sing her heart out at every turn. Rain on my If we missed any of your favorite mezzo-soprano roles, let us know in the comments below. Tell them how I Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.